Hey friends of Keycloak, nice to see you again. I'm Nico and I'm talking about Keycloak. Today in this video, I want to talk about a tiny little feature called transient users. I don't know if you already heard about it. Um, grab yourself coffee, make yourself comfortable. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any other of my videos. And um, yeah, let's see what transient users are. So transient users are users from an external identity provider which aren't stored in Keycloak in the database. The regular default behavior in Keycloak is if a user authenticates through an external identity provider, the user will be created and stored in the Keycloak, uh, in Keycloak's own database. This is uh, needed for Keycloak to uh, be able to work on the user and the user's data to create the, uh, the, the identity and all the things. Since a few versions, there is an um, experimental feature called transient users, and this makes, uh, makes it possible to not store the data in Keycloak, but having an authenticated user session during the user is online. Yes, it's an experimental feature, and um, that means it might happen that this feature behaves, uh, changes its behavior when once it is uh, becomes uh, supported. Um, and perhaps it never becomes supported and perhaps it will be um, removed again. But hopefully it won't. And um, as long as it's here, why not making use of it? So you can have external identities in Keycloak without storing data. And you don't have to care about cleaning up this data, deleting the data. Perhaps in, in terms of um, JDPR, um, this makes it uh, possible to have a clean and concise environment. Let's look into the admin UI, how to configure this. First of all, we have to enable this feature, this experimental feature on the server level before starting the server so that um, the feature is enabled. The feature is uh, called transient users. It's experimental, as you can see here. And um, if it's enabled with um, the proper um, switch on the server level, like an environment variable, CLI argument, configuration file, um, it's available. If transient users is um, here, it's uh, if it's available, we can create our identity provider, not in the master realm, but in our test realm, uh, our identity provider. I prepared it already. And um, that's an external key clock server. And we have now this um, switch, do not store users. This is uh, the switch, the feature for having transient users. If we enable this, do not store users on the um, identity provider configuration, um, we have transient user sessions. Additionally, we have to configure something else. We have to create at least one mapper, um, the default roles, uh, so that the user is able to authenticate and um, having the proper basic roles for managing its own account. So this has to be a hard-coded role mapper. Otherwise, um, the user wouldn't have these default roles and it wouldn't be able for this user to uh, authenticate and using the account management console, for example. And if we need further um, mappers, of course, we have to um, define them here. Everything what the user uh, should have been assigned to must be defined in mappers. We can't add something um, additionally to a user which will be not stored in Keycloak because there is nothing in Keycloak about this user. It's only held in memory during the session lifetime. Okay, let's look into the users. Users are empty, no users here. We have created the identity provider with um, the transient users, do not store users option, have created the mappers, and then we can just use the admin console and um, signing in. As you can see, this is my custom theme for login. And um, as we have configured um, the external IDP, we get an automatically created button at the bottom. Um, we can sign in with this external identity provider. I can uh, authenticate at the external identity provider, external key cloak in my case, with um, the user's credentials. Once we are signed in, we're getting back to key cloak. We signed in in Keycloak in the admin console. Uh, we see we have the picture um, of chain in here 
and uh, we have the data of chain in here. And um, if we have uh, now a look into Keycloak to the users, the users are still empty because there is no user in the database where it can be looked up and displayed here. But um, we can see a session of the user. We can see a session of chain Doe. It's transient. It's a regular session. And if we click on the username chain Doe, we get into the user details, which are being held in memory only. And um, from this point of view, it's quite similar to a regular user. There are some differences. This is the label transient, the first different difference. It's a transient user. And if you have a look into um, the details of the user, we see the ID. It's not a pure UUID for regular users. It has a prefix, the lightweight prefix. And the lightweight prefix sh shows us this is a transient users, a user with a lightweight ID, which is not persisted into the database. And the user was just created um, at the moment when we uh, authenticated. Um, other uh, properties attributes are um, remaining the same. And of course, no credentials or no, yeah, the role mappings, the default roles we um, did through the hard coded role mapper in the identity provider. Uh, currently no groups because we assigned no groups. Um, we have no consents. And also in the identity provider section, we don't see a linked identity provider because this user isn't persisted. So this user has no linked identity from the external identity provider. Although Chain has authenticated through the external IDP, in Keycloak itself, there's no linking to the external identity provider. This is um, the difference of um, a transient user. And as soon as we sign out, or the session will expire or whatever, if the session is gone, if we now have um, a look to uh, uh, chain Doe, if we if I try to uh, do a reload of uh, the admin console, we see a user not found. The user is gone, it's no more here. And also in the sessions, there's an error to reload and um, no more sessions, no more users, chain is completely gone. I hope you liked this video and uh, give me some thumbs up. If so, um, start testing the transient users feature and most important, give some feedback to um, the Keycloak team on the GitHub issues page or the discussions page so that um, the, key, the team knows um, that many people using this feature want to use this feature so that one day this feature will become a supported feature. If you have not already done so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of my other videos in the future. And uh, yeah, Hope to see you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.